I'm here with Zach Bowling. He's one of our roofing experts. He's a project manager. And in addition, we're going to be illustrating a roof installation of ridge vents in the ridge cap shingles. So Zach's gonna be sharing here in a moment. I'm gonna share a little bit so you'll hear both of us talking and uh, take a look at this video hopefully we can help you okay in the process of doing this roof uh, we're going to be installing a ridge vent for 40 feet across the peak of this one-story ranch home and right now we got everything decked all the way up we've got the ice and water in place and we've got the underlayment up and covering the peak right now simply because the skies are showing us a threat of rain so what we have here is a three and a half inch opening right across the ridge you can see this i can push the paper down you can see that it's open about three and a half inches and that's what you want to have on this peak so you can drawing air up through these vents now there's a lot of cheap ridge vents out there that come in rolls and they're real spongy and mushy we relate like the snow load type right here they've got a vent covered by the fiberglass screening this unit sits right down on top of the roof. We'll do an even division across the three and a half inch. And then we'll set this in place using three inch nails that are already pre-perforated down here. There'll be 10 nails holding this unit in place. Then we'll be setting the ridge cap and it will cover over the entire, this entire portion of the uh, ridge vent section here. And uh, we'll show you some more in a little bit when we're actually doing the install. But this is a nice heavy snow load uh, ridge vent. It comes in four foot sections. And we definitely want to stay away from the cheap stuff, like I said before, that comes in the big rolls. That is very soft and it collapses real easy. So this is what we're going to be doing. These are my dimensions. This is the unit. We're going to be running 10 four foot sections across this peak here shortly. And then the men here will be uh, installing the ridge cap. And we'll come back to this here in a little bit and show you exactly how we're installing it. Well, for fun, I went ahead and shot this part of the video clip with a fisheye lens, so hopefully you don't mind. Earlier today, we had a threat of rain, so we covered over the ridge. The ridge, we've already cut the decking several inches for the ridge vent for it to properly exhaust at the peak of the roof, and we're getting this ready to install the ridge vent here shortly. You know, we happen to be in Colorado today, up in Denver, Colorado, but all you folks down in the Bay Area, if we go all the way down south to the Florida coast, the, the Panhandle area, all the way through Texas and around uh, the hurricane areas, this is one excellent unit right here, and it's very much a high wind. It's Miami-Dade County improved. It's reached its absolutely, uh, it reaches the highest standards for anybody that's working, uh, doing, wants to do ridge vents down there in the coastal areas. On this air vent product, there are 10 nail holes that are pre-drilled. Be sure to use the nails that come in the package for the installation of the ridge vent panels. Now, here in a shortly, you'll see to the right that there is a nail line. This is for the ridge cap shingles. Make sure that when you use the nails for the ridge cap shingles, do not use the same nails that you do in the field shingles. You will need two and a half or three inch roofing nails to install the ridge cap shingles. Make sure you drive those in through the ridge cap shingle into this nail line. Now these heavy duty ridge systems, they really go together real simple. Like I said, we're gonna be using two and a half to three inch nails. I think three inch nails today through the perforated sections, 10 per unit. And these units simply, we kind of like to overlap the uh, insulation or the screening right there. And these units just butt right one to another. And then when we bring our ridge cap across we will of course cover those seams so they're absolutely watertight okay the simple installation is is that you just butt end to end but we always like to leave about an eighth inch gap right here for expansion and contraction because this is a heavy polyvinyl uh, unit here and it will expand and contract so we want to leave about that eighth of an inch right there before we set we popped a chalk line so we can have a straight edge on our ridge vent as we install on the ridge we wanted to stay true we don't want it to get off course so it's important to pop a chalk line notice 
to the right that we have about an eighth inch gap on the panels between each panel. It's important to have that on these four foot long rigid panels. If you don't, there'll be a problem with those buckling in the future. As we're installing the ridge vent, you'll see that we're installing it where we popped a chalk line and it's going to be important to install the one side first, slope A, completely with the five nails before you nail in slope B. If you don't, you'll end up having that ridge vent buckle on you. So it's important to, uh, to do it that way. If you look here, you'll see that we have a straight lines all the way down. Again, the reason why we have straight lines is we pop lines on the not only on the shingles, because you can look at the course of the shingles and see they're straight. We set several times during the course of a run of shingles on the rafter length. We'll have three or four pop lines to make sure that we keep the shingles straight. And occasionally uh, with any contractor roofing installer, because the roof, if the roof's out of square, and there are many different facets and there are dormers in the way, it could get a little bit out of uh, out of the square, but uh, most in most cases, you should be able to keep every roof in square with your shingle lines. Here we are, we're uh, installing slope B, at the uh, side, slope B side of the ridge vent, nailing it in. We had already nailed in slope A, and again, it's important to just nail one side uh, first, then come back and uh, the slope B, nailing the, the second side, because if there are any buckles in it, you can pull them out to keep it straight, as you just saw our installer doing just a moment ago. It's very important to do it that way. If you try to nail a one nail on one side, one nail on the other side, <clears throat> excuse me, it'll get uh, crooked on you very quick. Be sure to pop a line and install it on slope A. Uh, all the way down slope A, come back and install slope B. And then do not overdrive the nails. If you overdrive the nails, it would cause that ridge vent to buckle also. So very important to be careful with that. We're installing the ridge cap shingles. And there is a ridge line on there. Uh, you could uh, see that if you go back and look at the uh, shingle vent earlier that uh, I showed you just a few minutes ago, you'll see a line there. It's a line that runs parallel with the uh, it runs parallel with the ridge vent now you can see it it's a it's a area about a half inch and so we're installing two nails on each side of the ridge cap and for a total of four nails per ridge cap uh, those ridge cap shingles will not blow off and if you just look at what we're doing you'll see the pattern of where the nails need to go be sure to install the ridge cap shingles where the manufacturer states on the ridge vent. Do not alter that. If you alter that, you'll have an issue. Be sure to follow manufacturer's installation instructions as we're illustrating in this video. Very important to do that. If you do that, you'll have a great install. You won't have any issues and it'll work perfectly. Ridge vents are a great way to ventilate out. All right, uh, we just wrapped up this uh, nice little rancher today uh, using the Owens Corning Duration. The color is desert tan. Uh, we've just really got some really nice straight lines all the way through. We measure and snap chalk lines as we're building from the eaves toward the peak. And the roof just laid out wonderfully. Uh, we spoke earlier about the, the heavy duty uh, snow load uh, capable ridge cap and the ridge vent that we put in. And uh, as you can tell, looking down through the Across the eave, we've got nice straight lines. Our shingles all end up on uh, even measurements, and that's what happens when you take the time to measure, you take time to snap lines, and you take time to uh, do things correctly. So I think the ridge vent and the high profile look that it gives to the top really adds a lot of, I guess, your dimension and some addition to the uh, simple rancher that we did today. But this is it. You guys did a fantastic job. and. Owens Corning product came through again for us.